you mentioned about kamala harris uh, uh, is she identifies as somebody very much indian or uh, or uh, somebody who has uh, uh, african origin well it depends the on the audience and uh, you have to understand while indian american vote is roughly below 2% the african american vote is closer to 15% and so she will uh, play that card to make sure that she gets that support itself but if the audience is uh, indian american then she switches to that also but i think her overall positioning is that she is african american rather than indian american okay uh, so you you don't think so that indian will vote as a group uh, but the vote will be divided in us elections I think you have to understand uh, Indian American are experienced in democracy. Are uh, they question, uh, and which is the right thing to do, and so they will vote according to what their interests are. And so we see, if you look at the last election, uh, they voted over seventy percent for Hillary Clinton, and and this time we are seeing the numbers for Trump has gone up to in the high twenties itself, close to thirty percent. so i see a trend taking place where indian americans tend to be voting more republican than democrats okay and do you see uh, interaction of indian diaspora with um, other powerful socially and political powerful diaspora in the us yeah we are seeing you know uh, quite a bit of engagement for example the jewish lobby uh, indian americans uh, work closely with them because there's a common interest Uh, between india and israel itself so there's a lot of engagement taking place we're seeing uh, a lot of uh, engagement with the japanese community uh, because of the uh, uh, indo pacific region so we are seeing more and more co- uh, collaboration cooperation among minority group on common causes